Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to train a self-driving car using convolutional neural networks. We will be using the open source self-driving car simulator that is provided by Udacity. Using this simulator, we will first drive the car and collect some data. Then we will train a CNN model to learn this behavior and then test it back on the simulator. The model we will use was proposed by NVIDIA. They use this model to train a real car with real data and got promising results when they drove it autonomously. I upload videos on a weekly basis so don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you find this video useful. So let's get started. So before we begin writing the code, let's have a look at the concept. So the question is, how do humans learn to drive? Do we calculate how much to turn based on some road lane or does it have to be a specific road lane of specific color or what if there are no road lanes? Well, we will still be able to drive. So the question is, how did we learn? So for years and years, what we did is we watched and observed. We were actually collecting data whenever our parents were driving, whenever we were going to road trips, whenever we were going to school. So we were learning the basics of driving. And once we finally got behind the wheel, we, we knew all the basics of road, the lanes, the traffic signs and other stuff. So at this point, we we already had a model in our head that knows the basics of driving but once we start driving ourselves we train the model even further this time with the steering information the acceleration and the braking and so on so within a few days we learn how to drive this is because we had all that data and we had created that model for the past few years as we went along so the key here is that we collect the data and based on that we create a model that journalizes how to drive. Now the more data we have the better it will be able to journalize and the better we will be able to drive. So here we can see Nvidia's approach to this problem. We can see that they are feeding in the steering angle along with three images of left center and right camera. And all of this information is being fed in to our model and the model trains itself based on some parameters and tries to learn and journalize as much as it can. So we will be using the same model that NVIDIA used and along with the same network that they mentioned in their paper. So the first step is to actually collect the data. Now to collect the data, we have a software that is provided by Udacity and you can go to the github page and you can download the linux mac or windows version now we will be using the windows version so we will download this we have two versions actually version one and version two i'm using version two you can use version one as well so once the download is complete and you have extracted the files you will see something like this so you will double click on the simulator so once it opens, you will select the screen resolution and you will also select the graphics quality. So once it opens up, you will see two modes. One is the training mode and the other one is the autonomous mode. In the training mode, we are basically collecting the data for our model. And once we have trained our model, we are going to use the autonomous mode for it to run automatically. Now we have two tracks. We are going to train on the first one and then we will run it on the first one as well and see its performance. And then we will also try to run it on the second one and see how well it journalized. So to train, we are going to click on the training mode. And once it opens up, you can see that we have a simulation and we have a car which we can move around using the arrow keys now we will run the track several times recommended is three to five times uh, for each side you can also use your mouse to actually move this gives a better analog reading rather than just pressing button you can use your mouse to precisely 
turn instead of having uh, a kind of a digital uh, input. So how do you actually record the values? So here you can see we have a record button. So once you press that, it will ask you for the folder and uh, let me go to the desktop and I can select the simulation folder. And then whenever I am ready, I can press the record button and then it will start recording. And once it has done recording, it will loop over again and save all the data. So once you open up your folder of simulation, you will see that you have a log file and you also have a folder with a lot of images. Now, if we look at them in the detail format, you can see that some of them are starting from center, some of them are starting from left and some of them are starting from right. Where is the left one? Uh, there is the left one. So this is all of the images. So as we mentioned before, we have three cameras on the car. So it will give us the middle camera image, the left camera and the right camera image. Now what we will do is we will only use the middle images. So how to filter that? We will look at this in the software side. And we also have this driving log. So once we open the file, you will see that we have parts of our middle, left and right images. Let me show you one of them. So here you can see we have the complete path to the image. This is for the center image. And then we have the left image, the right image. Then we have the steering angle and then the throttle, then the brake and then the speed. Now we are not interested in these three uh, columns. We are only interested in our steering angle. So we will be using these center images and the stating angle to train our model. So if we go down, you can see that most of the time the angle is zero, we are going straight and sometimes we are giving it an angle. So now that we have understood the basic concept, we are going to go to our PyCharm and create a new project. So here is our new project with the name self-driving simulation. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to add our data. So we are going to right click here. We will say add a new directory and we will say my data. And inside that we are going to add our files that we got from our simulator. So we will right click here and we will go to show in Explorer. And we will double click on my data and then we will simply go to our data we will copy it and we will paste it here. Now these are quite a bit of images, so it might take a while. So once that is done, we are going to close. And once we go back, we will see now we have the files over here. Now we are going to go right click and create a new Python file. Here we will write training simulation and we will also create another python file by the name utilis now we don't want to add all the code in one file because it will become too long and it will become hard to read that's why we will put all our functions in the utilities and then we will just call them in our training simulator now, the very first thing that we have to do is to install our packages. So we will go to file settings and we will go to the project interpreter and here we are going to click on add 
and then we are going to add our dependencies or our packages so here we will write opencv python then we will write numpy then we will write pandas then we will write matplotlib then we need sklearn then we need image og and at the end we need tensorflow tensorflow now the installation of tensorflow will take a while now this tensorflow is basically for cpu and if you have a graphics card by nvidia and you have installed the appropriate softwares then you can actually use tensorflow gpu i will create another video showing how to actually get your gpu running but for now if you do not have a gpu just use the regular tensorflow so don't worry about all of these libraries right now i will explain what each one of them does step by step as we write the code so this is it for today's video in the next part we are going to prepare our data so that we can visualize it properly now if you like the video give it a thumbs up and i will see you in the next one